Hey guys, it's Stephanie with iowabdesigns.com. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share with you today how I made my own tiered tray with Dollar Tree products for under $10. Now, I know you've probably seen tiered trays all over. They're, they're all over the store, they're online, all over the place, but they're kind of pricey. So they range anywhere from $25 and I've even seen some over $100. So when I found out I could make one using Dollar Tree products, I had to give it a try. And unless you tell someone or they watch this video, I don't think they're gonna know that it's from all Dollar Tree products. It has a really high-end look. So I'm excited to share with you how I did it. And stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna be using this tiered tray and three different ways that I'm going to be decorating it around my home. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you what I did and show you how you can make your own at home too. All of the items you need for this project you can purchase at the Dollar Tree. I got all of mine there except for the spray paint which I purchased at Walmart. For my tiered tray, I chose to use a chalked linen white color, but you can choose whatever color will go with your home decor. You'll also need three glass candlesticks from the Dollar Tree, a pie pan, a cake pan, and a pizza pan. You'll also need a piece of sandpaper. An extra step that I did that I see people often leave out is sanding down your surfaces before you spray paint them. It actually suggests on the can of spray paint, I know, who reads the back of the spray paint can? I did. And it actually suggests to sand down any glossy surfaces for better adhesion of the paint. So I just gave all of my pieces a light sanding. Once all my pieces were sanded, I started giving light coats of the spray paint. You wanna be sure to do light coats, otherwise the paint will drip and you will have drip marks on your pans. I suggest letting your pieces dry completely overnight before moving on to this next step. This is the part where you can get creative with this project and make it your own. Play around with the placement of the pieces until you get the desired look that you're going for. For my tray, I decided to turn the cake pan upside down and then I'm gonna put the pizza pan on top of that. Then I will use two of the candlesticks glued together to be the first layer of the tiered tray. One candlestick is just too short for me to be able to put some of the things that I plan to put on these tiered trays. So I needed to add a little bit of height. Then on top of those two candlestick holders goes the pie pan. And then I decided to put one more candle holder just to add a decorative piece to the top. And on top of that, I'm gonna use a shower curtain ring that is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna paint that with black chalk paint and then attach that to the top to give the look of a handle like a lot of the sample tier trays that I had seen online look like. To attach everything together, I'm very excited to try for the first time E6000 glue. I have heard so much about it from so many other crafters and apparently it has an amazing hold. So I'm excited to see how well this actually holds. I'll also be using my glue gun just to give an immediate adhesion since the E6000 does take about 24 hours to cure completely. Okay, so I actually turned the pizza pan upside down and then I'm taking the cake pan and I want to make sure it's pretty centered. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I don't really like to measure, but I did pull out the measuring tape this time and just wanna make sure I have it in the center. So I've set it down, kind of eyeballed it, but I am going around and just making sure it's about two inches all the way around that I have excess. And then I'm going to trace with a pencil, just trace a little bit, I don't even have to trace the whole thing, but just so I get an idea of where I'm putting the cake pan. So I didn't even go all the way around, but I've traced it and that way I know, all right, when I'm putting the glue, like that's where I have to kind of line it up.
So here I'm painting the shower curtain ring in black chalk paint. I should also mention that I did break off the little knob part of the shower curtain ring, the part that it, that it clips together, and I broke that off and then sanded down so that they would, there would be two smooth sides to attach to the candle holder. I hope that makes sense. Now this next part is optional, of course, but as you know, I love farmhouse style, so I like everything to be a little bit distressed. So I'm gonna do some faux distressing just using the black chalk paint, and I'm just going to lightly dab on in different places where it would normally get worn and distress the tray. I also wanted to have that black line going right around the edges, like some of the sample trays that I had seen, so I'm doing that around the edges and then just lightly distressing all throughout all the parts of the tray. But you could also leave this just a solid color, whatever color you chose. You do what fits your style. One final step that I did that I see people leave out a lot of times is adding a protective coating to the top of my tear tray. I found this acrylic coating by Krylon in a matte finish that I already had on hand from another project. And I gave my tear tray one coat of this. Look how sturdy this is just by using the E6000 glue. I'm so impressed. And here is the finished product. I am so happy with how my tear tray turned out and I can't believe that it is made with all Dollar Tree products. It has such a high-end look and I don't think anyone would ever guess that this was made for under $10. But don't go anywhere because the fun part is coming up. Now I'm gonna show you how versatile this tray can be and how you can change it up for the different seasons and holidays. So I'm sharing with you how I decorated my tray for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. It's super easy to switch out the decorations on your tray and have new decor for holidays and seasons. It can be used throughout the year. Get creative with small items you already have on hand. There's no need to go out and buy a lot of little trinkets. Most of the items that I'm using to decorate came either from the Dollar Tree or Walmart or I already had them on hand. But I will tell you nothing on the tray is more than $3. When you combine a lot of little things, you can create a really fun high-end look for not a lot of money. For Christmas, there are so many cute ornaments and there's not enough room on your Christmas tree to hang them all. So some of the cute ornaments are perfect to decorate your tiered tray with. So let me know in the comments below, which holiday do you like the tray decorated for the best? For me, I think I'm gonna go with the Halloween tray. I think it's those glittery eyeballs that I just love so much. If you like this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps me get found in the YouTube world and really helps out my channel. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And if you wanna keep watching some of my videos, I'll leave some right here for you to watch next. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.